I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting question on linear equations. Question number nine. A swimming pool can be filled in four hours using one pump and two hours using a different pump. If both pumps are used, how long will it take them to fill the pool? So let's first understand what the question is. Let's say that is our pool, right? And we have two pumps here. One pump kind of like this, the other one a bigger one, right? Like this. Now it says a swimming pool can be filled in four hours. That means it takes more time. The other one is two hours. So let's say this fills in four hours. This fills in four hours and two hours using different pump. So that is faster, two hours. So if you can fill in four hours more time, that means less water, right? Coming out of that pump, faster it is, less time it is. Remember that, correct? Now it says, if both pumps are used, how long will it take them to fill? Well, let us say, we don't know, so we'll define a variable. So let them take x hours. Is it okay? x hours. Now in x hours, the whole pool will be filled. So it'll be filled up to the top. Correct. Now if you do that filling, which one will fill more? The one which is faster, right? This one. So it's kind of like this. Do you see that? So so when you, once you fill it whole, this will, this is twice the rate, correct? So you get an idea that this pump is going to fill much more. But at the end, the whole thing gets filled up. So such questions can be thought about as what fraction of job is done by these two pumps, right? So think like this. A swimming pool can be filled in four hours using one pump. So what we do here is we can kind of sometimes make a table just to understand. Uh, we have two pumps. So let's call them as pump one and pump two. So time taken by each pump, I mean, I should say in one hour, how much do they fill? A swimming pool can be filled in four hours using one pump. So let me write time taken to fill the pump. I mean, time taken to fill the whole pool is four hours using the first one and two hours using the second one. Correct? So that is given to us. Now, in one hour, how much of this can be filled by the first pump? So one out of four, is it okay? In by the second pump, half will be filled in an hour, right? Is it okay? So, so total time to fill is four hours. Let's call them in hours, right? But in one hour, one fourth can be filled by the first pump and half can be filled by the second pump. Do you understand that part? Right? This is important to understand. So we call this as a rate of filling, right? This is rate. Of filling the pump. So, so it is half the pool in one hour, one fourth of the pool in one hour. Is it okay? Now let us say that it takes x hours to fill. Let them take x hours to fill. Then in x hours, how much will the first pump fill it? That's what you have to figure out. x times x hours. In one hour it is one fourth. In x hours it will be x over four, right? How about this one? x over two. But total, the whole pool gets filled up. Therefore, this should add to one whole. Do you get it? So we get the equation x over four plus x over two equal to one. So that becomes the equation whenever we are considering work done or rate of doing something. Do you understand? So that becomes the equation. 
Let's go through this question once again. Understand our equation, right? A swimming pool can be filled in four hours using one pump and two hours using a different pump. If both pumps are used, how long will it take them to fill? So we say, let define variable, let them take x hours. So in x hours, how much will this pump fill? x over 4. How much will the other pump fill? x over 2. At the end, the whole, that is 1, whole swimming pool gets filled. So that becomes the equation. Do you see that? So is there is only one equation here, but to get to this equation is kind of tricky. But I hope you have understood this strategy. Now let's solve for x. To solve for x, we can multiply everything by 4. So we can do 4 times x over 4 plus 4 times x over 2 plus 1 times 4. So that gives you x plus 2x equals to 4 or x is equals to, let's say 3x equals to 4 or x equals to 4 over 3 hours. So that is the total time taken by both the pools, I mean both the pumps working together. The question is, if both pumps are used, how long will them will it take them to fill? So it will take 4 over 3 hours. Is it okay? So you can write down your answer as 4 over 3, which is 1 full and 1 third of an hour. Is that okay? Or 1 hour, 1 third of an hour means 20 minutes. So that could be your answer. 1 hour 20 minutes or 1, 1 over 3 of an hour. So that is how you should be solving this kind of question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.